in front of you, uh -huh. there's a box. Uh -huh. Do you feel the box? Okay, inside of the box, there's a living animal. Uh -huh. And I want you to touch it and see if you can guess what it is. What is but be it? careful, don't touch its head because it mm -hmm. will bite. Oh, I know what it is. Okay, okay. I dare scared. you to reach in there and feel it. I am scared where the head is. Cause I... yeah, the, the head's on this side, so go to the other side. This right here? Yep. That feels so weird. It felt squishy. Hey guys, at the end of our last pond video, we said that hopefully one day we were going to be adding some water turtles. And I'm thinking that today's the day. Getting ready to head into town and hopefully get a couple of red-eared sliders. But I want to tell you too about some additions we made to the pond, just little ones. Try to make it a little bit more comfortable. Turns out the adults really like that sand area too that we put in. So we added a little bit more sand and we put in some Adirondack chairs to go with it. We also added a huge umbrella to give it a little bit of shade for when the kids are playing and for us too. We even got another little umbrella for the kids table. We also added some lighting because it seems to be every night around sunset we all end up hanging out down there. So we got some lighting to highlight some of the rocks and plants and it, it kind of adds a nice feel to it too. We planted a few more trees to give us a little bit more privacy. We do live kind of by a road. And if you're coming down the hill next to our house, you can kind of see the pond. So we, we made a line of trees to hopefully block that road. I don't want anybody coming in here trying to steal my bass. Speaking of bass, we added a couple more largemouth and some more bluegill. Here's the big boy. We had a ton of tadpole eggs hatch and we have hundreds of little frogs hanging out by the pond. The other day, Lily just went around and collected a bunch of the little frogs and put them in a cup, and you would stick your hand into this cup and just pull out handfuls of frogs. It was pretty impressive. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> hold them up, hold them up. Holy cow. Dad is trying to get away. Ah! Holy cow, wait, let me see. Wow. Every now and then I'll grab one of those little tiny frogs when the kids aren't looking and I'll throw them in the water and the bass will just blow them up. They'll just explode on them and it's pretty neat to watch. So the pond's coming along as a dust storm blows by. Awesome. So the pond's coming along and I'm gonna head out now and hopefully finish it off with a couple turtles. Hopefully they have them in stock. We'll see how it goes. All right, it's a pretty successful trip. Went to two places. I don't know, there must be a run on turtles during COVID, but got one, that's all I could find. Red-eared slider, check him out. Good size too, I don't think he's so big that he's gonna eat the fish, but not so small that he's gonna get eaten by a bird, so he's about right. And, got some minnows for the bass. Never fed him minnows before, so I don't know if they're gonna eat them right away or if they're gonna live in there for a while, we'll see. I'm gonna go get the girls. They don't know what it is, but they'll probably guess it. We've been talking about it for a while. Keep them close. Keep them close. 
Okay, listen. Keep them close. Okay. Just close them. Don't put your hand over them. In front of you, uh -huh. there's a box. Uh -huh. Do you feel the box? Okay, uh -huh. inside of the box, there's a living animal. Uh -huh. And I want you to touch it and see if you can guess what it is. What but is be it? careful, don't touch its head because it will bite. Oh, I know what it is. Okay, okay. I dare scared. you to reach in there and feel it. I am scared where the head is. Okay, the, the head's on this side, so go to the other side. This right here? Yep. That felt so weird. It felt squishy. Uh, I don't want that. Ah, uh, I'm scared. Keep them close. I'm dead. Is You're on video. I'll know if you open your eyes. Is it poop? It's a turtle, isn't it? Or is it like slime? What do you think it is? Okay. Yeah, let me see. Oh, I'm touching it. Okay, now don't tell Ellie because we're going to play the same game with her. I knew right when it, like, right when it like, when he, when, he, when he said don't come out, I knew it was a turtle. Actually, you don't have to close your eyes because you can't see it anyway. <laughs> Stop. You can open your eyes. Okay, now listen. There's a box right here. And inside this box, there's an animal. And you're going to reach in there and feel it and see if you know what it is. <laughs> you can't peek. Here, I'll help you. No. <laughs> you can do it. I promise it won't bite you. And my dad was kidding. It won't bite. <laughs> <laughs> what if I hold your hand? I guess that's not going to work out. Oh, now you touch it. Because you, cause you couldn't see. I didn't, I didn't see because it was so tiny. It's so nice to feel. Look at his claws. Oh my God. Oh, it's a cute one. Dad, can I hold him? Watch out. See him open his mouth? He better not eat my fish in there. I don't think he will. He's pretty small. Okay, okay listen. This time I'm giving you four choices for a name. The choices are Michelangelo, Donatello, Leonardo, or Raphael. Oh, Shelby almost got bit. Was, Those who, are your choices. Who's, who's the guy that like loves riding the skateboard? That's Michelangelo. Michelangelo. I want Michelangelo. Well, his name could be Mikey for short. Mikey. What's your thought? My thought is that we name him. We name him. Rocksnock. Rocksnock wasn't a choice. Shelby, what's your vote? <laughs> Leonardo. I think we should call him Leo. Billy. Uh, the skateboard one. Mikey? Mikey. Michelangelo? Ellie? Um, I think Michelangelo. Okay, we'll go with Mikey. Michelangelo. Kids win. Michelangelo, the pond is yours. Make your way there. Hit it. Sometime it. today. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, he walks fast! Oh, he has a tail! He has a tail, Dad! I look on the back of him, he has a tail! Yeah, he does. Oh, there he is! There he is. Way back there. Oh, how did you see that? He swims good. And some minnows for the bass. Ah! Wow! What about that one? Is that one alive? What do you think, Lil? Good surprise? Great surprise. I think we need to get at least three more. Yeah. So we could have Donatello, Leonardo, and Raphael to join Mikey. To join Mikey. Yeah. Here, you tell them all the things. Make sure you like and subscribe. Hit the bell button. See you later. See ya.